Okay, go. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the lots for uh, um, setting up the AV. So my name is Patrick Cody. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you about engineering increased speed innovation. Now the purpose of this presentation is really just to share with you something I'm passionate about, what I work on, and hopefully connect with a few of you um, if you find this interesting. So let's start with who am I. So I'm an acoustic engineer. I work for Resonate Consultants, and up until recently I've also been working for Ping Services as well, our sister company. Further, I'm an active IET member. And here are a couple of site selfies, um, some unconventional uh, PPE sites. <laughs> so, who's Resonate? Well, Resonate is a consulting firm. We operate in a variety of sectors. We've got offices all around Australia. Um, we've also got an office in Dublin. We've got global partners which we work with, and our skills are primarily around waves and fluids. So out of the skills of well, I mainly work in acoustic, vibration, and electromagnetic fields. Now our work is diverse, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of some of the work that we do. So here's the new Royal Adelaide Hospital. We were engaged to perform acoustic commissioning for um, the hospital. Now this involved many late nights performing noise measurements when trades weren't around. We also did partition testing, so measuring acoustic isolation between rooms, and we also did vibration testing for some of the sensitive areas, including those which have MRI machines. Now something a little bit different. Um, we also do um, <coughs> higher vibration um, monitoring for um, intensive processes like the explosive demolition of Port Augusta power station. So here's a short video. So I don't think the sound's working. Um, So we set up vibration monitors and blast air pressure monitors to make sure that those electrical assets weren't exposed to um, unnecessary levels of vibration which could impact on their structural stability. So something different again, um, we also do um, noise monitoring for vents. So here's a photo that I took at Groove and Move back in 2017. So this involved us going around and checking the noise level at the mixing desk and also at the nearby residents. So again, um, here's another um, short video. Now this is the Ardrossan mine. So the Adjust Mine is quite close to the township and there's also a couple of residents which are located just on the boundary. So it's really important that this um, routine monitoring is done to ensure that the Adjust Mine is um, operating within the regulatory requirements. Now a lot of that is some of the stuff that I worked on earlier in my career. Now predominantly what I um, work on is um, sensitive laboratories. So this involves installation of high resolution um, atomic scale um, machines, including quantum computing, um, <coughs> atomic broad resolution microscopy, and this machine here, this is an X-ray crystallography machine. It's not the most sensitive um, of the devices, but it's probably most impressive looking. So we work with architects to help provide um, 
advice in terms of providing acoustic isolation, advice of how to mitigate electromagnetic interference, and also advice for acoustics. So many of the manufacturers of these instruments won't provide warranty unless they're um, installed in an environment which meets their stringent criteria. So that's some of the stuff that I worked on um, at Resonate. Now I also mentioned that I, um, up until recently, have been working with Ping Services. Ping Services is Resonate's sister company. Now, Ping Services um, does a few things, but what I'd like to talk to you about tonight is Ping Monitor. <coughs> so Ping Monitor is in essence an intelligent, intelligent listening device. We've been using this to help wind farm operators reduce their maintenance costs. So here's a photo of myself installing a ping monitor next to a wind turbine. Wind farm operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Damage can strike at any time. If damage goes unchecked, the result can be catastrophic. The global maintenance market for blades is estimated to be about $2 billion. <coughs> Small damage, small cuts, cost about two thousand dollars per pair. As that cut grows, cost about ten thousand dollars per pair. And as it goes further, the cost increases. Now, current practices are manual, they're human, and none of them are continuous. So, doing um, an, uh, an inspection by climbing up on ropes, uh, it's not only <laughs> periodic, but it's also somewhat dangerous. Um, Ground-based um, methods using high-resolution cameras is prone to error. And similarly, um, drone inspections, which they're more safe, um, you can get close to the blade, but they're still periodic. So ping monitor is continuous. Ping monitor is located near a wind turbine, it measures the acoustic signature of the blade. As the blade goes around, it makes a nice swoosh. If, it's, if the blade's damaged, the acoustic signature will be slightly different. So the ping monitor has onboard processing, so processing at the edge, and satellite communication. So if it detects a fault, um, maintenance crews can be alerted. Overall, what this means is continuous monitoring, means faster detection, and that means lower maintenance costs. So to reiterate that, here's a short presentation which um, shows, shows this in action. So as wind turbines are operating, they get damaged. When this damage occurs, the blade will start to make a slightly different acoustic signature. Ping monitor sits and it listens. And when it detects damage, it'll analyze it, and it'll work out how bad it is, and then it can send advice to our cloud service. From here, maintenance crews can be alerted, and they can take action as required. So where are we now? Well, we've been doing trials here in Australia. We're doing trials in North America as well as Europe. And we've contacted customers globally. Just recently, we've sold our first ping monitor. At the start of this presentation, I said the purpose was to share some of the things that I'm passionate about. And I hope I've done that. I'd also like to connect with anyone who finds um, what I do interesting. So if you'd like to get into contact, my details are um, up above, and thank you for listening.